Everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing Matter today with Eric Mozart Yak Fishing. And he has a trolling motor he has rigged up on his kayak. And I have, well, my own self propelled Ruben motor. So we're getting ready to peel off and do a race. We're going to see who can, uh, we're going to see who goes faster. So stay tuned. <coughs> I'm a little ahead of you. I want no excuses. All right, so where, where are we going to? To that boat? To that white boat on the right? Or that... Huh? I don't see no green buoy. Okay. All right, ready? Set. Go. Come on! See? Where's Eric at? Where's Eric at? I didn't even put it on you. Wanna put it on him? I'll put it on him now. There he is! <laughs> <coughs> Winter, winter chicken dinner. I mean, Eric has to uh, massage my hamstrings now because I just pulled one. All right, so we're out in Galveston, Texas today. Ruben, Texas All Water Fishing, aka Funk Soul Brother, out here with Eric Monster Yak Fishing. So it's pretty cold morning. Uh, had some ice on the car. Um, so typically scenarios like this if you can try to find some deep holes try to find some deep spot um, and when you're fishing like out fishing during the summertime or, or springtime some of the deeper holes that you know had soft mud so the fish like to bury down in there get down in that mud that mud will hold a lot of warmth so it's kind of what we're doing today we're trying to find some deep holes and some of these little urban scene near Galveston so hopefully you catch us hooking up don't forget to subscribe like and share and um, yeah thanks for coming back flounder <clears throat> Dang, almost lost them. I cannot get them in this net. There we go. Golly. Splashy guy. First catch of the day. Nice little flounder. Got him on uh, some gope. Penny gope, lime, lime tail. It's the uh, shrimp mantis. But yeah, nice little guy. Look at that. Ooh, barely hooked. Barely, barely hooked. Yep, see the hook just came right out. Hook just came out. Okay. Look at him acting crazy. Chill out. What is it? 16, 16 and a half. Nah, let that baby go. Nice fish, though, dude. Yeah. Wow. It's thick. Got some thickness to him. Nice little guy. 16 and a half. He's gonna. Live to swim another day. Beautiful.
All right, so when you're fishing during the winter time, you want to come out and see if you can find yourself some deep holes. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a fish finder, but I didn't always have a fish finder. So what I did was I used some charts and some maps online and um, also use a, a Lorantz has an app out there. So what you can do is use your Lorantz app and pair that up with Google Maps and try to um, try to use the both, combine the both together so you can um, you can get a good coordinates and find some deep holes and you know fish the bottom because like I said like I've been saying that mud is warm and the fish will be hanging around the mud the bait will be hanging around the mud flounder the flounder will be dug in there and they'll be hanging around in there reds trout so just uh, find yourself some deep spots be adventurous try to find yourself a little honey hole or two and it's not guaranteed you know you can you can just absolutely destroy them one trip and come back the next day or your next trip out and they won't be there they might be in a hole you know um you know in a different hole in the area so just uh try to mark yourself a couple spots where you can come out and kind of plan and plot your course on a couple areas you want to hit first and hopefully you hook up Yeah, I got him. Oh. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, come back, come back. Solid trout. Here's that speckled trout right there. There you go, Ruben. Nice. It's a nice trout. Oh, yeah, it's a nice speckler. Drift over here, I'm still marking them underneath me. That's a nice little speckle. Got that guy right here. Little guy, but you know what? They've been hard to find. This is on that Pond Hopper Nation swim, swim bait. <laughs> this is on that Pond Hopper Nation swim bait. It is, um, you can save 10% off by using my promo code. So check them out. I teamed up with Pond Hopper Nation. Nice speckle trout. I'm gonna let him go. And uh, see if we can get back on this line and see if we can catch him, catch some more of them. All right, so that's gonna do it today. Um, real quick trip, uh, we were out here for a handful of hours. You know, ended up with uh, one nice flounder and uh, and one probably pretty close to slot spec. Um, had a few more small bites, a few more nips, and um, a couple of nice big, nice big healthy hits too. But, you know, that's gonna do it. Thank you again, thanks for coming back. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification, let you know the next time I upload a video. Until next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up.